Would you believe me if I told you guys these shoes used to sit in foot lockers and foot actions? Let's get into it. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys Air Jordan 11, Gratitude. All right, guys, these officially come out on December 9th, 2023, unless it gets set back. And I do have them almost three months early. Now, with that being said, I do have these in a size nine right here. We don't get a suggested retail on the box, but the retail will be 230 on these. And you can currently get these off of GOAT for around 450 bucks. Now, with that being said, they did get a little bit cheap with us on this box here. I remember back in the day when I used to wait and camp online for Concords and, you know, cool grades they gave us a nice slide out box with the same you know tissue paper that we see on the inside of the shoe with the carbon fiber and now we just get a regular you know box that we just have a top on now they did still keep the little ring right here which we used to use to pull out the box but you just open it like regular and at the top it has the jump man up there all right now like i said earlier in the intro you know shoes like this used to sit in foot lockers and foot actions when they came out in packs the last pack that i do remember getting or i don't remember the name of the pack but it was a seven and the sixes and i actually got those off of east bay at around six something in the morning and it was just a different time back then when you can order shoes offline that company is not even around anymore and you know you probably won't even be able to see packs released in foot lockers and foot action and things like that anymore and those shoes used to sit there for months guys for months before they would sell out i remember just going there and just seeing them on the shelves and then shoes used to come out in packs and another thing is like foot lockers and champs and finish line and things like that and stores like that used to also pit the shoe out a few days or a week or two early so we could see it was coming out not like today where we just know months in advance or see a commercial and things like that but let's get into it guys so this is the shoe right here i'm kind of happy to have these because i never had you know the defining moments when you open it up this way you do see the jump man as you guys can see in gold and the box on the bottom is in white now at the top of the box here i did go over this in the air jordan one mid space jam video like when you read it across right here you cannot read that it says you know thank you but when you turn it to the side here you can really see how it says thank you just for anybody wondering like sometime when somebody says the shoe says you know jump man or jordan just so you guys know because i explained this in another video and then somebody took it way out of proportion and i guess i didn't explain it right but you have to turn it sideways so you can really see what it says and i hope you guys can see what it says right there i'll put a video so you guys can see it go down real slowly and you guys will finally recognize it but if you just look at it you know regular like this way you won't be able to see it okay just so for anybody wondering like on the middle of the shoe what that says or anything like that i will show you guys that on the middle of the shoe a little bit later but taking out this beautiful shoe right here guys and this is it man copper drop let me know in the comments box below growing up i mean the air jordan 11 was definitely my favorite silhouette um i just remember how good they used to smell and I mean, these have a little bit of that good smell to it, but not how it used to be. And I used to buy the biggest Ziploc bag possible at Walmart and those type of stores. And I used to pit my shoes inside of them so it can stay with that smell. Another thing that I used to do to save the bottom from yellowing before it was all these products and things like that. I used to have to cover my books and it was like this sticky book cover that I used to trace my shoe around with a pencil like this, cut it out, unstick it, put it on the bottom of my shoe. Um, if you guys are still willing to do that, you guys can find that product at Staples. I think it costs like five bucks for a big roll, like a big roll of sheet. And uh, that's what I used to do and probably still will do, but um, just to keep them clean. But man, I just remember having the Concords and having the Cool Grays back then and how I used to just take care of my shoes so well because I bought them for retail. I had to save up for them or trade for them, just like how I do today. But now I have a little bit more access to money and things like that. And um, it was just, these shoes really do bring back good times and good memories and how I used to make friends and, uh, just really you know grew up so um man this is really nice to see these shoes yeah, yeah. 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 all right so we're waiting to sneak a car right yeah. now the yeezys it's good it's good we're on facebook <laughs> yeah that's about as fuck yeah see look at that you got a buyer over there oh, 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 oh. you yeah, still got a buyer he's got the car yeah. he's still using yo those are tough this is for dc this is for dc sneaker back we out, take trip. Yeah. Yeah. That's too far. Yeah. Where is it at? Oh God, DC. DC. No, when? Saturday? Uh, April 2nd. Right, I'm going to just clear my schedule. That's too far, right? I want to see a whip by stakes in uh, DC. We can do that. <laughs> Leave early as hell. <laughs> I mean, we can't go to DC. Yeah. Why not? Oh, you missed this slip. Did you hear? <laughs> and uh, 
right, let's open up the box here, guys. So on the tissue paper here, we only do get one layer of tissue paper. All right, so I'm not sure if they will add another one when the shoes do officially come out on December 9th. I haven't watched anybody else's video on YouTube yet because I wanted this video to be authentic and legit with you guys, no script like normal. Let me know in the comments box below if you've seen these shoes come with an extra layer of tissue paper. But when you guys do look at the tissue paper here, it does say thank you in all different languages, which is really, really dope. All right, on the inside of the box here, we do get the white and green sticker. Now with that being said, I don't want you guys thinking these are fake or anything like that. And when I was showing the production date or trying to get pictures of the production date, and the production date on this is 02-15-23 to 05-08-23, I was able to take a picture of the tag right there, and it does pull up saying Nike. Now, I will show you guys a screenshot right here what I caught, and when I tap on it, it does bring you to like the Nike app. And uh, it doesn't have anything there yet, but then when you click off of that and go to the next page, just some person right there. But just in case you guys are wondering if you can scan the tag on here, yes, you can, but it still doesn't pull up any new information. But with that being said, man, this is the shoe right here, guys. Now, I know, now there has been rumors that this shoe will have at least a million pairs, but just because there will be a million pairs out there, these shoes will still be hard to get because everybody is gonna want these for Christmas. This is gonna be everybody's, you know, last minute Christmas gift for the young ones and everything like that. So you still may have to put in a little bit of work to get these in my opinion. But let's get into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we have a different tint than what we see on the Concords. And um, it's more like a milky color, as you guys can see, with the black traction pads. And in the middle right there, we get a white jump man. Also on the inside, we see the carbon fiber. It's like a black, silver, and gold in between, which is really, really dope. Looking at the midsole here on both the outside and the inside of the shoe, it isn't white. Show you guys both the outside and the inside of the shoe right there. Coming up towards the base of the shoe, here we get this black leather on the outsides of the shoe, which is really nice and crispy. Nine times out of ten, you can just wipe these off, but they will get scratched up pretty easily if you don't take care of them or kick them on the stairs and things like that. And one of the biggest differences about this Air Jordan 11 is that we have the leather here on top of the patent leather and white leather, as you guys can see. Normally, this is in a mesh. We also see the lace eyelids right here and leather as well. That is normally mesh too. Moving back a little bit further here, we do get this gold jump man, as you guys can see on both outsides of the shoe. Okay, coming towards the inside of the shoe right here, same thing. I don't see a lot of stitching errors or glue stains on my pair, which is really dope. I believe these are gonna be really nice and a must cop in my opinion. Yes, a must cop if you guys love Jordans. With it being a million pairs made, I'm not sure if they was kind of cut cost because I'm sure this is not like a really, really good leather. Like when I'm touching on it, it doesn't really feel that soft. You know what I mean? Other than the tongue, I can really feel how softness it is in the tongue and when I bend it and things like that. But on the side of it, it does kind of feel really stiff in my opinion. So I don't know if it was cheaper to go this route or to use mesh or, you know, what kind of grade of leather this is. But let me know in the comments box below if you guys do get that information. But looking at the toe box here, we do get this black patent leather on the toe box. Now these won't crease up easily like other shoes will. So you won't have to pick wearable shoe trees in these. But I do have a code of Y Davis you guys can use on creasebeast.com. Save yourself five bucks. Looking at the mud guard here, we see the milky outsole creeping up from the bottom of the shoe. Now unfortunately, we don't get two pair of laces in these shoes. At a price point of 230, you would think that they give us black laces or something like that, but we don't get any extra pair of laces in these shoes. This comes with the white laces. And it's not like a pure white lace. It kind of has like a little bit of an age look to it when I'm putting it in the lighting and moving it side by side. Same thing on the tongue here. We don't get a mesh tongue, we get a leather tongue. And when you read this tongue, it does say Jordan on it. Now, once again, you can't read it when it goes straight across. Just for anybody wondering, how do you see Jordan? You have to actually turn the shoe to the side and read it going down. And that's where you can see it saying Jordan. And then we get the jump man in the middle right there in gold. All right. Coming towards the inside of the tongue right here, we get something a little bit different. So it says quality basketball products created and gratitude by the greatest player ever. So we get a little extra wordplay on the inside right there. And it says, thank you on the outside. So I'm gonna show you guys that real fast. Really dope touch. I like that touch on the shoe. Now, another thing that I'm disappointed about, like I was telling you guys earlier, we used to get shoe trees on them, like actual plastic hard shoe trees, and they stopped doing that. And now they just give us regular, you know, tissue inserts. So I'm not sure if they're trying to cut back costs or just didn't want to give us these type of things, but that is something I used to look forward to seeing. It just made you feel like you were getting something special, especially around Christmas time with all the extra details and the plastic cover on the inside and things like that. But it just took all of that stuff away. So if Jordan brand nike if you guys are watching this video those are the things we want back on the shoe i mean you're charging us extra money every year five bucks ten bucks give us something you know a little bit extra on our end too you know what i mean just make it a little bit better for us 
But uh, on the inside of the sock lining here, it is in black sock lining, as you guys can see. Taking out the actual insole here, something different that we do get on the insole. It has a number 23, which we see on the back of the shoes in gold. So that's a new hit that we do see on the Air Jordan 11. And if you guys look at it, it's in black. And then down there, it is in the 23, which is in gold once again. And then we get the sizing sticker logo underneath of the actual logo, not on top. On some shoes, it's only on top. This one, they put it on the bottom. On the back of the insoles, this is not the Dream Cell insole, but you can see that it is white, AJ11 on the back. All right, and it says the sizing on both of the soles. Underneath the actual sole right here, it is in black and like a grayish color and we see some white stitching. Now, once again, the production dates on this is 02, 15, 23 to 05, 08, 23. All right, we also do get an elastic band tongue on this shoe in black. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, it does say 23 in gold, similar to what we see on the actual stencil. Underneath that, we get this white leather and then we get the black pattern leather underneath that, all right? Now, I'm showing you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size now I'm gonna get nine and a half in all my shoes. If you guys have never had an Air Jordan 11 before, you can go true to size on them. But in my opinion, I will be going up a half a size when I do get these. Now this is my true to size right here. And I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box. So I'm working around my toes, but if you guys cannot tell, my big toe is right here. So I do have a good amount of space in the front of the toe box, as you guys can see. Once again, I am a true size nine and they feel amazing on feet. Now with this cut of the shoe, I don't really feel anything on the inside or on the outside of my foot i haven't been wearing them for that long no i just literally put them on my feet just now i'm pretty sure once i have them on for a little bit i will start to feel a little bit of you know pressure on the inside and the outside of the foot but other than that though they feel really nice on feet i don't have any slippage on the bottom here at all as well so if you guys like to wear your shoes unlaced i don't have any slippages just in case you guys are wondering but normally i do get nine and a half in these air jordan 11s now once again it's just a better wearing experience in my opinion you know um to each his own when it comes to this type of thing but if you have a wider foot or need a little bit of extra space i would suggest you to also go up half a size now you won't need any wearable shoe trees on these like i said earlier because of the patent leather it won't get it won't get creased up as easily as other shoes do but other than that i'm gonna show you guys what these like some different pants options they are pretty comfortable on feet and let's get right into it Okay guys, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned.